Hey guys, Anthony Petrovoni here, back with another video. I just want to go over the trade I made when I talked about the crypto plays with Raya Amara. I ended up closing out the position, took the $27,000 loss. So I just want to talk about the trade, go over it, my thought process behind it all. And if you appreciate the transparency, hit that thumbs up button. If you're looking to build your wealth in the stock market to achieve financial freedom, you're going to want to subscribe. And without further ado, let's dive into the charts. Last time we spoke, we were talking about Ride and Mara. We talked about how we saw Bitcoin potentially hitting an all-time high soon, and Bitcoin was trading around 62,000 at that point, and then it rocketed all the way up to a top of about 67,000. My trades I took were on Riot and Mara. I bought call options on Riot and call options on Mara, like I said, expiring at the end of the month, actually, and in December. And what happened was the miners took off for that same day and then continued to sell off the whole entire rest of the day, even though Bitcoin was sitting above 66,000 yesterday. You'll see that yesterday, Riot went from about $30.70 all the way up to a top of 3280 and then sold off after the first hour and was selling off all day continuing into the next day which is today the 21st and continued to sell off even harder down to 2944 from a top of 3288 now when riot was trading at that top we were in the profit about twenty eight thousand dollars i honestly expected it to hold because the thought process was if Bitcoin hits an all-time high and holds, then we'll continue to see the crypto miners run because this is what happened last time that Bitcoin was hitting all-time highs. If we scroll back, we'll see at the beginning of the year, Riot went from the beginning of January being at around $23 all the way up to a high of $80 in the span of one month. As Bitcoin went from about $35,000 up to $56,000 in that same one month period. So Bitcoin had about a 50-60% rise in one month as Riot had a 100-200-300% move in that same time frame. What we expected was the Bitcoin mining stocks to correlate with Bitcoin and continue to move at twice the volatility as Bitcoin does. The biggest red flag was that yesterday as Bitcoin made the move, Riot Amar just continued to sell off and they didn't stop selling off. That's when I was debating taking off the position. But then when we saw Bitcoin sell off overnight and then into today, that's when I really had to take off the position because on the technicals, it wasn't looking like Bitcoin is going to be rallying past all time highs in the next coming days. Based on the fact that Riot sold off immediately after Bitcoin hit an all-time high and stayed there means that there's a disconnect. Riot isn't going to continue to move higher if Bitcoin moves higher. It'll move higher and then sell off even though Bitcoin moves up and stays. So that was the biggest issue and we're seeing that with Mara and Riot. If I wanted to recoup my losses, I would have to see Riot hit $36 next week to recoup all the losses and make a small profit. And in my eyes, based on the charts, I see a small probability of Riot actually getting to 36 by next week. It could happen in a month, but next week, extremely slim chances. So if I did not cut the losses, that would mean that those calls would expire worthless. And instead of that loss being 27,000, it would be doubled. It would be over 50,000. So I cut the loss at about 50% of the value of the trade. And we're moving on. You have to take a step back and analyze the charts after things are moving and decide, you know, is this trade likely to turn around or you gotta be real yourself. The biggest question I like to ask myself is if I wasn't in this trade right now, would I take this trade? And if the answer is no, you, you get out right now, period. If you're not willing to take the trade right now, then it's not a good trade. So I looked at everything and I said, you know what? I wouldn't take this trade right now based on what I've seen and what happened. So. Let's get out of the trade now. We save ourselves 50% and all is well. One of the biggest battles that people don't talk about with trading is the fact that you have to be okay with having the fear of losing because what happens is we, ha we, we have the fear of making a decision and then the trade turning around after the decision. The reason why we don't cut our losses is because we fear that if we cut our loss, the trade's gonna turn around and then go in our favor after we cut the loss. And this happens, you see it, it happens plenty of times, okay? We have to accept that, that, that is a, that's a possibility. You have to be okay with it, and that's just, part of the, that's just part of the business. Treat it as a business expense, and you continue on with life. So don't beat yourself up, don't take yourself too seriously. Whenever you take a, a significant loss for your account size, you have to be able to learn from it, laugh at yourself, and move on because if you just continue to beat yourself up over a decision in trading, I promise you, you're not going to do well. All you're going to do is beat yourself up, continue to decrease your confidence, and then going into the next trade, you're going to make more, more mistakes. 
or you'll try to re revenge trade and make back all the money you lost in the previous trade and more, and that never works. It's not all bad news. Tesla hit the all-time high today. It hit 900 and then closed at the highest close ever at 894. I had some call options on Tesla. Ended up taking a $10,000 profit on the call options. So it wasn't the end of the day, you know, $27,000 loss on the Bitcoin plays, 10K gain on the call options on top of the appreciation with the seven figures that are in Tesla stock for me personally. Today overall was still a good day. My account is also at all time highs. I want you to know that during the day today, I was not excited at all. Tesla hitting all time highs, my account hitting all time highs. I was not excited whatsoever because I had the stress of the trade that I knew I had to make a decision on because it was either take a 20, K loss now or take a 50k loss later on those crypto plays. This is great news though. We're continuing to see strength on the four hour. We're continuing to see strength on the daily chart and we're seeing massive strength in the weekly chart. So this is likely to continue. Like I said, when Tesla's in this position, it can honestly, it can honestly keep going for one to three months. We've been going for just over one month. So we could have another full month and a half of this pushing towards 1200. I don't think it's going to happen, but I can see 1,000. I can see us getting to 1,000 in the next one to two months. Then maybe we might top out there short term and trade sideways, but we'll have to see what the technicals look like when we get there. If you're a Tesla shareholder, congrats. That's going to conclude the video. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated it. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.